Well, efforts to keep summer fun safe for thrill seekers in full swing. Yeah, so anyone, of course, who goes to Kings Island, a church festival, maybe a county fair, you want to know one thing. Are all of those brightly lit spinning rides in good shape? As WLWT News 5 investigative reporter Todd Dykes found out, the answer can be framed this way here in Ohio. If a ride is not safe, experts say it will not be running. Last summer was a mess. This summer's yes. going to be better. It was an absolute mess. Um, pretty much if somebody met me last year in the first two days, they probably saw me crying ugly tears. That's how Crystal Holdhouse spent the first two days of last summer's Hamilton County Fair. It was a disaster. Holdhouse, president of the fair's board, learned at the last minute that an out-of-state ride operator failed multiple safety inspections, meaning there were no thrill rides for fairgoers. When they arrived and they didn't actually have what we were being told they had and they failed inspections, it was absolutely devastating. Holdhouse didn't give up, working long hours to bring in an emergency batch of inflatable rides for kids to enjoy. And she says this summer will definitely be different because the fair has partnered with a Cincinnati-based ride company. They've had all of their inspections completed here on the fairgrounds, and because I wanted to make sure that there was no option for fail, I have been present at all of their inspections. Those inspections have been done by experts who work with David Myron, chief of Ohio's Division of Amusement Ride Safety. We inspect every single ride um, in the state to make sure that it's operating safely, um, that it's meeting certain standards, and it's uh, safe for everyone to enjoy. A tragedy six years ago at the Ohio State Fair spurred changes to the way rides are examined, tracked, and reviewed, culminating with Tyler's Law, named after Tyler Jarrell, who died when a ride called the Fireball broke apart. It was definitely terrifying. Like others in the amusement world, Holdhouse was heartbroken by the fireball incident, but she's glad the state has embraced new safety measures. I think the ride safety has improved significantly. Just the, the fact that they are taking the time to fully inspect a ride to make sure that it is safe for my child and someone else's, I absolutely appreciate that. That appreciation grew stronger when this video recently went viral, showing a crack on a pillar that supports a roller coaster in North Carolina. Myron saw it too. You know, we're in tune with the news and it does impact the way that we look at things and as it should. But Myron says thrill seekers in the Buckeye State should feel confident programs are in place here to keep rides that spin and twirl running like they're supposed to. We do truly believe that Ohio's uh, laws and rules set up our industry to be the safest in the country. Now, I asked David Myron if people file complaints about particular rides. He says it happens, and he encourages everyone to speak out if something looks amiss. But he says going into the third year of Tyler's Law, the state has seen a dramatic decrease in the kinds of issues addressed in that piece of legislation. In his words, that's really raised the quality of rides here in Ohio. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Well.